Hello everyone, welcome back to Shogun 2. Uh, our port is currently blockaded yet again by another fleet of the Kumamoto. They uh, they sailed in, uh, batted away our little fleet uh, because they aren't really strong enough to take them on, I don't think. Uh, my Kasuga class would probably melt away um, because they do have a big old Kayomaru as well as a uh, Kitan class there. So uh, we're going to have to port somewhere else, and that somewhere else is going to be in the province of Echu. There we go. We can reach it all in one turn, which is very nice, and once there, we can uh, repair. Uh, we can't really do anything about this for now, I don't think. Once we repair, we could uh, take another look at it, because I believe we could probably take on these two ships if we focus fire or whatever. In the meantime, uh, we have some stuff to look at. First off, we have Rangoku. Wonderful news, my lord. Our tolerance towards less Western learning has led to a breakthrough in industrial science. So we have now an industrial breakthrough, which increases wealth generated by industrial buildings by 25%. I don't think we really have too many industrial buildings, apart from possibly uh, these farms in North Shinano. I don't really know if those count as industrial buildings. Uh, obviously, this copper mine would. Uh, whoops, I meant to take a look at the province. Um, so I think they might get a boost. I'm not exactly sure what constitutes industrial. Um, there's our port blockaded. Now, we were sending good old Tadayuki uh, north to fend off the Morioka, but now they're on the run. And, um, what do we really want to do? Do we want to march all the way north and take the, uh, the lands of the Morioka and have this weird spaghetti noodle kingdom I don't really know I would much rather just go to war with Takayama right off the bat that way we can uh, build a much more unified land uh, although we are currently at war with the Morioka and I want to put an end to that war so maybe we can open diplomacy with these guys and see what they think about maybe I don't know declaring a, a, a ceasefire because What's happening right now is they're waltzing all the way down. Like, it takes them, like, six months to get to our place. Uh, our lands. See, look at this. We might be able to come to an agreement. He sounds pretty jovial. Uh, no. <laughs> Perhaps I am at fault, but I do not think your offer is acceptable. That guy's a much better voice actor than I am. Um, just FYI. Uh, so, I, I don't think they want a piece just yet. Maybe if I offer them some money... I don't think we're in a position where we need to do that. Um, now, see, the reason I don't want to go into the uh, Morioka lands is, as I said, we'll get this weird, uh, really spread out kingdom. Uh, but also, we are currently at war with the Josai as well. Although we are insulated from the Josai by our Aizu allies, uh, if we were to march north, they might cross into the south and attack us or whatever. Likewise, though, if we were to attack the Takayama then both these guys would be able to attack us in the rear. I'm not really worried about Morioka, because I've got this nice choke point that has to pass near my capital, which is a pretty powerful city uh, in which I can recruit all sorts of units. So I can recruit a nice garrison in Echigo, and when these guys come marching one by one, we can station an army at the river or whatever. Basically, we can probably fend them off with just our garrison in Echigo, if Morioka were to uh, march to war again. Yeah. Uh, given that uh, the Morioka had like a small half stack, not like a full army, we might have troubles with a full army. But if they were to just continue doing what they're doing uh, recently, which is to have these little half-assed armies, we could probably handle it. Um, but the question is, do I want to go with the, to uh, to war with the Takayama right now? I don't have any intel on these guys, and they could quite possibly have a huge amount of forces, as they did just knock out another faction that was in here. Uh, we, I don't know if we can recruit another shinobi, Kosuke would have, no, we can only have one shinobi. Um, we could probably send, uh, Kumai over there. Let's see, this might piss off everyone in Kai province. No, it looks like they're, they're happy, okay, so we can get some intel with Kumai. Uh, for the time being, I think we should chase off this Morioka army for another turn or two, just to make sure they totally, they, they well and truly fuck off. That would be great. Um, we've got 3,200 Koku, and we're getting 1,600 per turn. Um, and we wanted to build a uh, training building in Echigo, just to improve our infantry and the like. I think what we wanted to build 
was probably a Jujutsu Hall. Uh, because that would allow my infantry, specifically my riflemen, to be much better in melee. Because as it is, uh, they're doing like five. They've got five melee, whatever that is. F five points, five pips of melee. Uh, whereas if we were to build, well, we would basically double their melee damage. Uh, so, that would be, I think that would be quite good. Um, we'll do that. The reason I want to improve their melee is because um, that means they would be exceptionally strong against other line infantry units in melee, but also they would be uh, not as weak versus dedicated melee units such as like Katana infantry, who have a melee attack of 16, which is pretty nuts actually. Uh, so if we were to square our line infantry off with other line infantry, which is probably going to happen quite a bit, uh, basically it's just to cover my 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 weaknesses and play to this to, to the weaknesses of others uh turn my weakness into a strength as it were uh, i think that's pretty much it for this turn we're not going to recruit any any uh units this turn i don't think we have enough cavalry for tariyuki yes uh we could recruit another yari kachi though that might be good, quite good but i don't really know uh the reason i have yari kachi is to uh fend off cavalry um sorry i meant to look at tadayuki's army uh to fend off cavalry but our rifles do quite well at that and in addition we have our own cavalry so maybe uh spears in this army are getting to be a little bit obsolete not sure anyway uh we may as well just end the turn uh we have 10 years to capture an additional 21 provinces we should be able to do it especially if we capture these three from the takiyama anyway uh enough enough chatter let's uh let's get something done here Okay, we have a bit of an awkward situation here. Um, the Aitsu, as you can see here, our big black ally. We've been allied with them for quite a while. They have attacked the Kakigawa, who we are also allied with. Now, the, the awkward situation is A, I don't remember who the Kakigawa are. And B, obviously they're both our allies, so it puts us in a l quite literally an awkward situation where we're picking sides. And I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of thinking that we should defend the Kakigawa and declare war on the Aitsu because, as you can see, the Aitsu have kind of surrounded us and their lands would be a great addition to us. That way we can then take the Morioka lands without worrying about overextension and um, the rail lines run through the Aitsu lands and then once we take the Aitsu lands we can then uh, head right into the Jozai lands. Um, so this... My, oh shit, the Jozai are allied with the Aitsu, I didn't realize that. Uh, I don't know who the Okazaki are either, but they are probably going to join our war. You know what? This is a, this is a really a tough one. I think if we were to declare war on the Aitsu, we're, we might be outclassed a little bit, because we really only have one army, but we can quickly recruit some units to help us out. You know what? Fuck it. We'll, <laughs> we'll declare war on the Aitsu because they are the aggressor, and I'm sure we can probably get the upper hand quite easily if we play our cards right. Um, we just need to be aware of uh, where the Aitsu armies are, I suppose. We'll have to get some intel. Uh, Toshimasa, our sin shinobi ra Oh my god. <laughs> our shinobi rather is uh, taking a look at Uzin, but instead we'll send him... Are we still... Why do we have line of sight into Fukushima? What's going on there? Perhaps, uh, are we still somehow trading with these guys? No, it's impossible. I don't know. Uh, let's see who the fucking Kakagawa are. Oh, yes. See, the Kakagawa are the... <laughs> are the ally that we had that got kicked around by the Takayama. They used to own South Shinano. They got pushed out. Now they're stuck in Tomi. So we sided with a really small ally. As opposed to a really big one. Uh, but I guess it makes us look like a good guy. We're, you know, coming to the aid of a uh, beleaguered, small ally. Uh, we could just march right into fucking Suriga province, because uh, it looks like the Aitsu would have to march through Sagami province to get to there. That would be nice. If we could just take that without uh, the Aitsu ever getting there, that would... I think that would, uh, that would strengthen the Kakigawa quite a bit because they wouldn't have to deal with the Aitsu anyway. Um, 
we've uh, just researched an explosive shell, which will make our... Oh my god, this <laughs> that's too perfect. Now we can easily break the blockade of the port, as long as the uh, Kudamoto do not have the explosive shell. And, you know, what? When I'm, th I'm, I'm really thinking about it, we are at war with a lot of people. The Kumamoto chief among them is a pain in my ass. Uh, let's request peace. Ugh, unacceptable. You Fuck you. Um, Josai, can we perhaps get a <laughs> peace with Josai? No. I, I think the only ones that want a peace, even marginally so, is the Morioka. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's try the Morioka again. They are pro shogunate. Be welcome, I didn't really realize. I have ordered sake prepared to Why are they so and warm our hearts? <laughs> this fucking guy. Why are they so uh, in love with us all of a sudden? What's that about? Can we instead turn this war into a military alliance? That would be great. No. <laughs> let's try again. Um, trade agreement. My Payments. I Offer. Sake prepared to wet our wits and there we go. We'll try 500 koku in a trade agreement. No. <laughs> uh, Come can I not just ask it. them what they would want? No. Okay. We... Uh, it was worth a shot. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to reroute Tadayuki. Uh, but where? Possibly to Musashi province? No. Let's see. This is the problem. Uh... This entire coast is at war with us, and we have one army to deal with. To order around. Uh, see, if we were to take Fukushima, that puts us at odds with the Morioka, who can then just mark in, march in rather and take us out. Whereas if we were to do Musashi, likewise, the Aitsu would just uh, march into the north of our lands, or the Josai would just march into the south when we are in the north, etc. What we need is... Another sort of fucking army. Let's see, what kind of upkeep are we dealing with? 100 Koku per unit. We've got 1,200 to miss with. 12 line infantry. 12 units, rather. Uh, because these units are pretty cheap as well. Can we... Can we do something with 12 units? We've got the mistaken general here already. You know what, if we were to... Uh, eliminate some of our garrison units, I'm sure we could uh, manage it. Although... Looking at, like, High Province, uh, their public order is a bit dismal. Same with uh, North Shinano. Echi was pretty good. Uh, okay, so we've got Tadayuki. What do we want to do with Tadayuki? I think we need to... We're going to march south to Kozuke because this is a province that Aitsu can easily uh, take over. Look at this. Shimutsuke Province is right next to Kozuke. Um, so, two turns will be there. Uh, once we get some intel, we can decide what to do with Tadayuki. Uh, so we'll send our shinobi throughout the heart of the Aitsu. We can tell already that Fukushima, um, is pretty much undefended. So if we were to march up there, we could probably do some damage. Um, we built a cannon range in Kai, so we can start to recruit some useless wooden cannons. Oh, fuck yeah. What we want to do, though, is upgrade it to a field artillery school so we can get some parrot guns. That would really help us in this war. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, the Yonatsawa. Why would you do that? Who are the Yonatsawa? Are they the... The blue? Yonatsawa, who are you? I don't even remember. Let's take a look. Oh, they're that guy way up there. Why do we care? Why did we have military... I, I don't know. Okay, so the two have been destroyed by the saga, it looks like. And what's left? What do we got to do? We have to liberate our port. So we've got three ships. They're all pretty small, pretty weak compared to the uh, Kayamaru and the Kitan class they have here. Uh, but we should be okay because we have uh, explosive shells. And as long as the Kunamoto do not have explosive shells, we should be able to just totally wreck these guys. I'm not sure how it's going to go. You can see that the uh, balance of pla uh, balance of power, rather, is about 50-50, so... Okay, we're, we're putting all our money on Tsutsui Tsukiyasu here. <laughs> Let's hope this guy can do good against Hanjo. Um, you can see our crews are pretty well drilled as well, whereas the Kudamoto are not. Okay, here we go. We're going to jump right in. I'm hoping we can carry the day with our explosive shell. And here we are with a nice, lovely, little coastal battle. We've got our Kasuga class, uh, this side of the island, and our two uh, Kanrin Maru. Yes, our two Kanrin Maru 
on prepare this side. Attack, uh, and yes, we will. We will prepare to attack as long as I figure out uh, group formations. There we go. We want them line astern. And we want them to cruise like this. So we'll go line astern. We'll f try to force these guys to turn so our Casico can uh, possibly move this way. I'm not sure. Uh, what we want to do, though, is load some explosive shells. That would be great. And we just speed on through. So... The AI is actually pretty smart here. They uh, deploy um, so that they can immediately fire off a broadside. I don't know what you would call this. They're abreast or something. I don't really know. Uh, he's fine. He's perfectly fine there, Billy Bob, Marine Man. Uh, oh, shit. We should get some... Uh, oh, yeah. We're actually taking a few hits already. I didn't realize. See, this is a problem. Solid shot has a larger range than my explosive shell, so perhaps we will first load solid shot. Oh fuck, our Kasuga class is just getting wrecked. Uh, we can swoop in though with the Canron Maru's pretty quickly here. Uh, we might even try to uh, turn away from these guys so that uh, they don't fire at us so readily. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll swoop in here actually. Uh, then they'll be forced to rotate or move or whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Well, we should get some civilians in here and uh, they can come along. This will this will actually help with our uh, government spending as well. We can get some civilians in here. They can come along, bring their cameras or whatever. They can look off the uh, the sides of the ships and spot all the whales that are to be found. Like, I mean, look at this. There's like fucking... Oh, that's like wood or something. It's all wood. Never mind. Actually, no, those are men. No, no, those are people that are drowned. That's never mind. Let's just not take. Let's not look at that. That's just really depressing. Okay, we've already lost two guns off our Casca. It's going poorly because my Canron Maru's are not nearly as fast as I was hoping. Uh, kind of jumped the gun with my Casca. Should have waited a bit more. The Caillou Maru is just tearing through my Casca, and you know what? I didn't even realize this is basically the <laughs> the edge of the map. Uh, the uh, AI is actually, like, fucking camping the corner, so we're having trouble, uh, you know, surrounding them or whatever. Um, okay, well, it looks like our Casca is getting some shots off on this Chitin class. Uh, if we could just surround the Kayo Maru, Kayo Maru, sorry, with, uh, our two little ships, that might be not bad. Uh, they really need to hurry. We possibly could get them to turn like so and this way we're firing directly into the ass end of these uh, two ships uh, like I said we are already missing two cannon from our Kasuga class so it's uh, not looking so hot actually could be better but now the Chitin class is trying to turn around and the uh, the two ships are kind of bungling and bumping into each other it's very awkward and embarrassing for everyone involved actually the great Imperial Navy of Kudamoto or whatever <laughs> And they're just kind of bum-fucking each other. It's very, very odd. Anyway, uh, so our one, uh, our one, I keep forgetting, Canron Maru. Our one Canron Maru is in position, and we're just going to leave it as is. We'll move this ship something like this, and now we've just got, we've got these two guys locked down. Our explosive shot is doing a hell of a lot of damage, actually. Way more than the, uh, these two ships have done to our Casco class, even though they are in quite a bit of damage, uh, danger rather um so now we are concentrating our fire on this chitin class i think let's do that something like that this is nice okay and then we can take out the kayomaru if we could capture the kayomaru actually that would be great although again there is no boarding so it's a little bit awkward we probably just have to get it to route it seems um speaking of routing is this thing fleeing already no but it's taking a hell of a lot of damage again it's fucking great okay so we're just going to shell away at this uh, Chitin class. We'll get our Casca to take care of the Caillou Maru. It repaired a little bit. Uh, okay, so we got the, the Chitin class on fire, actually. I think it's routing. It must be. I don't know. Either way, it's demasted. It's on fire. It's having a hard time dealing with us. And these two ships are having a hard time dealing with uh, the grouping that we had it in, obviously. So we'll, uh, we'll continue to... Oh, man, we are just fucking... Just, oh my god. This is horrendous. Okay, I'm gonna get a uh, first person uh, shot off on this thing. Oh my god, look at that. It's on fire. We've got shrapnel ripping through the hull. Speed up uh, 
reloading as well, just so we can really pack the herd onto this guy. Okay, so the chitin class is on fire. It looks like it stopped in its tracks, actually. No, oh, no, they're still kicking around. Okay, well, either way, uh, we are just dominating, like I hoped we would. Maybe now the Kudamoto will realize that uh, they are no match for the great Nagyoka fleets. Uh, I say fleets, but the great Nagyoka fleet. Singular. Um, our Kanran Maru is still... Still moving, and it's actually shelling this little hill here. It's quite useless, actually. Very odd. Uh, okay, so this thing is sinking, and it's surrendered, and it's off the table. So we're good. Now we can purely focus fire on this Kyra Maru. These guys just don't even know what hit him. Oh, my God. Like, when they saw the first explosive shells, they were laughing. They're like, these silly guys brought fireworks to a cannon battle, but they, they didn't realize that. Oh, my fucking God. These shells... They explode on impact. We have no no hope of surviving. Flee. Flee back to the Kutamoto lands. I don't even know what cities you have in Kutamoto land. Other than dumbass town and idiot village. Uh, okay, well, this ship is very nearly fleeing as well. Look at this. Uh, any second now. <laughs> they, they put the brakes on and the mast fucking fell off, which is a very embarrassing. That's kind of something that you don't want happening uh, once you've built a ship. You do not want the mast just falling off when you put an abrupt stop to your ship. Usually that thing needs to kind of hang around, I think. Uh, I don't think the Kayo, the Kayo Maru doesn't actually have like paddle capabilities, I don't think. Unless there's like propellers or something below the waterline, but how is this propelled and what is this steam engine for? I couldn't tell you, but either way, this thing is just getting fucking pounded. Holy shit. I feel almost bad. Well, no, I don't feel bad. These guys brought it on. I feel a little bit bad for the guys on board, the poor souls on board who really have no say in how this war is fought, and yet here they are, laying their lives down on the line so that we can just fucking tear them away. It's very sad. Um, as for the actual Kudamoto, they can probably just go suck a fuck. I don't care. Okay, well, look at, look at all the shrapnel and shit falling off. It's ridiculous. Okay, decisive victory. We sunk both ships, I'm hoping. Return to the port of Echigo and repair... And then from there, not really sure. Uh, we'll recruit some more units in Kosuke. Get a bit of a second army going, so we just have like a defensive force that can run interference, perhaps. Okay, there we go. We, uh, yeah, we just totally flattened those two ships. No fucking chance. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, once we repair the port as well, which will cost like 10 million Koku. Uh, once we repair the port, which we will do, I'm hoping this will increase our profits. I can't really say for certain. Um, I don't think it will much, but either way, the port needs to be repaired. Likewise, our ships cannot be repaired, actually, because the port is damaged. Okay, you know what? I think that's pretty much it for this episode. It has been about 20 minutes, and we have now declared war on the Aitsu. We're at war with the Morioka, though it doesn't look like that war is going to go on for too much longer. For some reason, we're in the good books with them, and we are currently at war with the Josai as well. Also, the Kumamoto, way the fuck over here. Fuck these guys, these fucking dickwads. What are they doing and just fucking getting involved in my business up in here? I don't really know why they decided to declare war. It's very odd. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, next episode, like I said, we'll recruit some units in Kosuke. We'll probably build a bit of a half stack here with the Mistake in general. Hisajima Shikakata, and then he can run interference like a bit of a defense, defensive line here. Like I said, I think we're going to declare a truce with the Aitsu, or sorry, the Morioka pretty soon, so we don't have to worry too much about this Northern Pass, but we do have to worry about Shimotsuke as well as Musashi, etc., etc. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next episode. What are you doing with that? What? Oh, we've stumbled into a, a den, haven't we? Of a dragon? Oh!